Hi folks, after the scratch build of the 56cm DMFE Jump Racer, I decided to build a little brother for him, which would be more suitable for flying indoors. The original Jump Racer flew ok indoors, but it needed 2S to stay in the air and it was a bit limited what you could do with the confines of the stadium. I will keep this big brother as a stunt plane for flying outside on calm days. It is suitable for stunt flying with its symmetrical wing and large moving surfaces. You can just go nuts with it outside. It's just nuts what you can do with this plane. The little brother would be 90% the scale of the original, which would bring the wingspan to 50 centimetres. My hope was that it would be light enough and aerodynamic enough to fly nice and slowly indoors. Unfortunately, the six channel receiver with onboard ESC that I bought for it cooked while I was removing one of the aileron servos. So I ended up installing a 1S four channel receiver with separate ESC. So I'm stuck with four channels and one S. No flaperons this time and only one S power. I did have some concerns about having enough thrust after my first flights with Big Brother on one S, which only managed to achieve ground effects. I could always convert it to 2S later if needs be. This is the electrical setup that I started with, which is a 4 channel receiver with a 1S brushless ESC and servos with the larger plugs to fit onto the receiver. Details and links are in the description. Construction time. You can see a more detailed build of my first DMFE jump racer video. I used tiling software to print the plan for a 50cm wingspan. I cut out all the wing and fuselage parts from 3mm printing foam. I made a few changes. I made the fuselage a little bit narrower to make it more streamlined. Also, I cut circular holes in the wing lamination and moved it under the wing instead of on top. I reinforced the wing with a strip of 1.5 by 3mm carbon fibre and I assembled all the box fuselage section. I painted the wing moving parts in fuselage lamination for contrast and I glued in two 1mm laminated ply onto the firewall for attaching the motor mount. All up weight so far is 46 grams. I painted the rest of the surfaces leaving the main fuselage white. However, Snoopy suggested changing the colour scheme so I just had blue and yellow on the upper surfaces. I printed off an MC1106 motor mount and installed it on the firewall. I designed and printed the undercarriage support, which was to slide onto the wing and spaced wide apart this time. This was my final design. I wired up the 1S receiver with separate ESC and installed it with the 2 gram servos with larger 7.5mm wide connectors. Here you can see a strong hinge on the rudder for a tiny steerable tail wheel. The internet provided me with some springy spiral wheels which I modified and attached to my undercarriage supports. And here is the Jump Racer Junior all ready for its first test flight. And here it is next to its bigger brother. The final weight came to 101 grams without battery and with a 500 mAh battery it weighed 109 grams. The big brother weighed 114 grams without battery, it would only do ground effect on 1S. So I was hopeful that the Jump Racer Junior would be able to fly ok, being a bit more aerodynamic and a little bit lighter. And here we are at Mullum with the planes all lined up ready for flying. Time for a taxi test. The wider spaced undercarriage and the steer wheel tail wheel make taxiing a breeze. Time to see if I can get this little plane into the air. Yeah, it flies. Yep, I managed to get into the air with a 250mm battery. First test flight completed and the plane is still in one piece. Try it. It seemed to fly a bit better with the 25C 500 mAh battery. You're going to try and fly with a little tiny battery. I thought I'd try it with a super light 150mAh battery, but the current output wasn't that great.
Yeah, not much power with this battery, but it is lighter. Ooh, a lot going on around me during this flight. Watch out for the landing where I lose a vital piece of equipment. Whoops, I've lost a wheel. The bigger six by four pop. I thought I'd try a large propeller to see if I got any more thrust. Nah, not enough thrust for this setup. <coughs> I had a bit of a mid-air incident with this flight. Whoa! I was trying to keep out of your way. I took off the Cubs undercarriage here and afterwards when I was flying around I kind of lost depth perception and had a nasty crash against the wall. This was a good oh. crash test for the little junior which oh. survived with only a slightly yeah. cracked undercarriage mount. When I got home, I updated the undercarriage support design to make it a bit more strong and stable. I also updated the wheel design to make it stronger at the joints. I've now printed them out and installed with parts already for next time. Well, how about that? I'm pretty happy with my new little jump racer junior and I'm really looking forward to taking it out again and flying it with its new improved undercarriage and slightly stronger wheels. What's coming up? Well, my plans are to use the 30mm EDF jets that I had in my 18 Warthog, which has done its dash. It's more glue than foam these days. I'm planning to build something like a Canberra bomber, and I've started researching plans on the internet. I'll definitely be using my new 3D printer to help with making the parts for this plane. Well, that's it for now, folks. And as usual, if you'd like to follow me and my projects, consider subscribing to Dave's Fun RC, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.